Hello everyone, welcome back to the Gradio tutorial series for beginners. In our previous video, we have learned how to install and set up Gradio, create a basic Hello World Gradio application and explore various input and output components. So in this video, we are going to see into the fascinating world of interface state in Gradio. We will explore the difference between global and session state and learn how to use both. Let's start by understanding the global state. Sometimes your function may need access to data that persists beyond a single function call. This data is accessible to all function calls and all users. You can achieve this by creating a variable outside the function and accessing it inside the functions. For example, you might load a large model outside the function and use it inside the function to avoid reloading the model with every function call. In this code, we have global variable score that is accessible to all users. The track score function takes a score as an input and append it to the score list and return the top three scores. The Gradio interface is created with input and outputs. It allows user to input a score and display the top scores. When multiple users access this demo, their scores are added to the same list and the top three scores are collected from this shared reference. Here I am adding some random values. When I enter a smaller value than this, it will not appear here. And when I enter greater than this value, then this here will show the new number. Now let's explore session state. This type of data persistence in Gradio allows data to persist across multiple submit within a page session, but it's not shared between different users of your model. To store data in a session state, you need to follow three steps. First, pass an extra parameter into your function representing the state of the interface. Second, at the end of the function, return the update value of the state as an extra return value. And the third is add the state input and state output component when creating your interface. In this code example, we are simulating a chatbot where session state is essential. We want to access a user previous submissions but cannot use a global variable for chat history as it would get mixed up between different users. A user function is a simple function that takes a user message and the current chart history as a parameter. It appends the user message and none to the history. The board function is a placeholder for the chatboard's logics. In this example, it simply returns the current chart history. This set up a Gradio blocks application named demo. These three components are created a chartboard for displaying and interactive with the chart. A text box for user input and a button label for clear. This line defines the behavior when the user submits a message, it calls the user function with the current message and chart history. Then it calls the bot function with the updated chart history. <laughs> this line defines the behavior when the clear button is clicked, it uses a lambda function that does nothing and update the chartboard components. And finally, the Gradio application is launched. <laughs> Okay. 
So in this video, we have learned about global and session state in Gradio and how to use them. You now have a solid understanding of how to handle data persistence in your Gradio interface. In the next video, we will explore more advanced applications and customization with Gradio. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching.